Hello everyone, myself Vipin Mishra. I welcome you all on IMS Gate Academy platform. And in this video, I am going to discuss about the MTech admission of IIC Bangalore for electrical and electronics and instrumentation students. So, in this video, I am going to talk about IIC Bangalore, their placements, their cutoff, the specialization that they are offering. So, in this video, you will get the complete information about IIC Bangalore. So, if I talk about IIC Bangalore, it doesn't need any introduction, the top research institute in India, not only in India, across the globe as well and the rankings are exactly showing that. So in Indian ranking, if I talk about, it is the number one ranked university, right, in India and globally it has 211 ranking is when it comes to global university ranking, right. So this is the top institute and this is the oldest institute of India as well and it is a destination where you should definitely go if you are very much interested in research, right? So now we are going to talk about the cutoffs and the specialization that they are offering. Before that, I would like to tell you that join our Telegram channel if you have not joined, correct? So that you will get regular feedbacks, regular feeds about all these uh, videos, notification, job notification and everything, correct? Now. If I talk about that, what are the specialization that ISC Bangalore is offering for electrical, electronics and instrumentation students? So these are the specializations, right? Electrical engineering, so in electrical engineering only electrical students can apply. Electronics and communication engineering, where electrical and EC student both can apply. Electronic system engineering, EC electrical, I and all can apply. Microelectronics and Willis design, one of the top and most growing specialization right now or most growing sector right now. All EC electrical IN students can apply. Signal processing, EC and electrical can apply. Artificial intelligence, mobility engineering, semiconductor, right? So these specializations are also there. EC electrical IN can apply there. The biggest question is that how to choose a particular specialization. So well, the answer is that completely depends upon your area of interest, right? Whatever area you had more interest in your B.Tech, you should choose a specialization according. For example, for example, if suppose digital and analog were your favorite area, you should go for microelectronics and VLSI design or semiconductor technology as well. If suppose power electronics were you, was your favorite area, you should go for mobility engineering or electric vehicle technology. Similarly, if signal was very good for you, you should go for signal processing and it also depends upon the future scope of that particular specialization as well. For example, VLSI and microelectronics and VLSI design is the fastest growing area right now. So if you can get into this area, you should opt for it. Similarly, electric vehicle technology, it is expected that by 2030, most of the electric, most of the vehicles will be electric vehicles, right? So this is also one such area where you will go, uh, where you where you will get enormous growth. So this is how you should choose the specialization, right? And these are the top specialization that I see Bangalore is offering. Now, after that, the biggest question is, what would be the safe score so that I can also get admission there, right? So the answer keys are out. You might have calculated the marks that you are getting. Now, based upon that marks, you will get certain gate score as well. Now, based upon that gate score, you can have an idea that whether you are eligible or not. And uh, in order to that, these old cutoffs will also help you, right? For example, if I talk about microelectronics and VLSI design, if you want to take admission into this specialization, then just see, if you are from general category, 750, 750 were the scores uh, required for uh, the electrical and EC student, right? When it comes to IN student, these scores was a, were a little less, correct? 625 were enough, right? So this is how you can see that if suppose you are scoring anything in this range with respect to your branch, that will be a safe score and you are equally eligible for that and you can assume that I will get admission here. Similarly, if you are from EWS, right? So for EWS, you can see the cutoffs again. So they were 675, 675 for EC and electrical and for IN it was 550. For OBC, almost same as EWS. For SC and ST category, they were around 350, 350 for all the branches. 
correct so this is one such example i have taken like that i have shown you all the cutoffs for all respective specialization and which particular branch is applicable for one specialization you can have a quick look over this particular image that is open in front of you right so based upon the last year cutoff based upon the last year cutoff uh you can think of taking admission into ic bangalore as well right so what cut off what 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 marks you are scoring what grade score you are getting if your score is quite close to these last year cut off right then you can assume that yes i can also get admission based upon my score as well so this will give you a general idea see so whether uh, you are going to be there in ic bangalore or not right so this is just for giving an idea so you can have so we discuss about microelectronics and velocity design same similarly you can whatever specialization you want to get admission you can have an idea from the old cutoffs whether you will be eligible for that or not right so this is important now very important thing the placements so i think ic placement or it placement doesn't need any introduction just see all the top companies of the world were there to recruit students from ic bangalore like right? all the top names talking about the packages so highest ctc offer to ic student were around 86 lakh per annum the medium of median package offer to mtech students were around 28 lakh per annum right talking about the monthly stipend so just see highest stipend offered were around 2 lakh per month and the average stipend offered to student were around 75000 per month imagine that if you have managed to place yourself in the same company how much package you would be enjoying if the company is play, paying you this much of monthly stipend right so placement is not at all a topic to worry if you are there at ic bangalore now procedure and eligibility so if you are looking for admission into ic and if you are from these departments or discipline okay in which the top disciplines are microelectronics vlsi design mobility engineering right and electrical or electronics and communication engineering electronic system design instrumentation system then the procedure will be that 70% weightage will be given to your gate score and 30% weightage will be given to the interview and interview will be uh, will be based upon your area of interest only right whatever you will say is your area of interest mostly the questions will be asked on that only for semiconductor technology and signal processing it will be 100% gate score no written no interview for artificial intelligence and computational and data science 70% weightage will be given to gate score 30% will be given to the written test right eligibility you should have a btech degree you should have a valid gate score of 25 24 or 23 right now after that what is the admission process correct so admission process if i talk about the, uh, that particular point so first of all you have to register for the admission at cope portal which will be live soon right cope portal means common offer acceptance portal you have to first of all register yourself in this portal right then you have to apply separately to the respective institute for mtech admission as well ic or iit then after that you will be accessing the admission offers through the co portal correct this is the admission process after that the important thing will be the important dates okay so beginning of application process already started right for ic bangalore last date of applying will be last week of march okay result will also be there uh, in the second last week of march correct if there will be any interview or written test the schedule will be announced to you okay that will be on second last week of april and date of reporting if you will be selected in ic bangalore will is going to be on july correct so i hope that you got all the necessary information so in this video we have covered ic bangalore in the upcoming video we'll be co covering all the I iits and nits okay so keep on just visiting our youtube channel right and you will keep on getting all this information now the important information for all future gate aspirants of 26 and 27 if you really like the teaching and learning methodology of rms gate academy you can join our live online courses we are offering 800 plus hours of live classes with live interaction uh, interaction we are giving exceptional material in terms of theory book exercise book and gate question bank 
गेट इज अ लॉन्ग जर्नी सो यू विल गेट पर्सनलाइज वन टू वन मेंटरशिप सेशन फ्रॉम अस एज वेल सो दैट यू कैन स्ट्रेटेजाइज योर प्रिपरेशन विथ अस वी आर ऑफरिंग यू वन थर्टी प्लस ऑनलाइन टेस्ट एज वेल सो बुक अ काउंसलिंग सेशन इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड बाय कॉलिंग ऑन दीज नंबर राइट एंड यू नो वी आर ऑल्सो ऑफरिंग यू गेट जीरो फी प्रोग्राम इन विच वी आर नॉट टेकिंग एनीथिंग एंड यू कैन एंजॉय फिफ्टी प्लस आवर्स ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट वीडियो थ्री गे फ्री गेट चैप्टर्स एंड सब्जेक्ट टेस्ट and get 24 and 25 papers as well with solution and one personalized guidance session as well correct now these are the toppers that we have produced these are the rankers that we have produced some of them are at iits iic nits and drdo and isro as well you can be the next one as well correct so thank you so much for attending for watching this video now in the next video we will talk about iit bombay